Yeah, little Frankie's getting on now. Okay, that'll work. Hey, folks, it's uh, Sunday afternoon. You know what that means? The Margu campaign is here for you. Three generations of players uh, creating mayhem and, and love. Love is the key to everything. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube account. If you want to buy some cool RPG crap, it's there. If you want to join our Discord account, it's there. Most importantly, if you want to join us for a one-shot or for the talk shows on Tuesday night, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up, let us know. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice and OddFishGames.com. OddFishGames.com, just FYI, their uh, cookbook is going to be print on demand uh, shortly. Uh, not quite yet. They're still working the kinks out. So if you're looking for the hard copy, eh, give them a week or so. Uh, that being said, remember, this is the Margu campaign. We're going to have another, uh, at least one more player joining us here shortly, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, our eldest statesman of the group will start. Uh, I'm not going to call you old Frank. I'll call you elder Frank. <laughs> uh, who are uh, what, you? Who are you playing? <laughs> I don't know what the difference is there, but... Uh... I, I'm old Elder Frank. I'm playing Leaf the Druid. Very good. Ex Stoner Leaf Hugger. Uh, next up is my favorite RPG name, Haggis Crapstain. Nicholas, who are you? And tell everybody you're playing Haggis Crapstain. I don't know what else to say with the name Haggis Crapstain. I mean, it's speechless. But I'm Nick, and I play Haggis the Crapstain. And you're looking for love in the jungle, are you not? Yes. Well, Phineas can help you out with that. Even with tree bark, it's still <laughs> something. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> next up is another personal favorite of mine. Go ahead. Wait, Jason. I, is that Felix? Yes. Yeah, no, it's Jason. <laughs> oh, of course not. It's you. <laughs> uh, copious mold bitters, uh, gnome witch, uh, and slightly oversized ego and some real morality issues right now with his feelings towards the other gnome in the party. You know, I feel nothing but hatred from you, and that's okay, <laughs> e e even though Phineas Latrec is just a helper. And you got to treat him nice because he had a rough night. Uh, last but not least, AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? Hello, I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the human rogue, and the last person in this party that is still sane. Mm -hmm. Really? That's what you want to go with? That's what I'm going with, yes. Okay, uh, in that vein, I'll go ahead and give a quick recap. If you haven't seen the show before, these guys are trekking through the jungle to find the Nazumi ruins. Uh deep in the jungle of the tabaxi people uh these guys have had their fair share of uh shall we say problematic encounters uh within the capital city and they are now out on day four trekking through the jungle being led by the fearless and the great phineas latrec gnome archaeologist uh probably carries a whip with them somewhere uh in our last episode uh the individual's saved a half elf who later turned into a uh, jaguar of some sorts. So he's either a druid or a lycanthropic jaguar. Uh, if it's the latter, uh, three people sustained injuries uh, on the last night of the full moon. And of course, Felix, who had a, shall we say, romantic encounter in the port city before arriving in the taxi land, may, may not have picked up something that's going to require a little bit more stringent than catnip, which he has several pouches of left, I believe. Uh, we rejoin everybody on day four as uh, their guide, Phineas Latrec, had a little bit of dysentery, uh, and he is riding high like he's at the Derby. Uh, as day four begins, good news, it's hot and shitty again with a mist. So the humidity is razor sharp. Uh, as you guys all ponder the pecu peculiarities of the previous evening, you trek through uh, and your guide half-heartedly every quarter of a mile or so whacks a straight line into a tree, his markings for a trail, which may or may not help you uh, leave the Nizumi ruins should trouble 
or copious befall him. Uh, day four reaches the zenith of the afternoon. Uh, high noon, and it is hot. Uh, how about everybody give me a con check, con check, not save, check, uh, to see if exhaustion is setting in since none of you got any good sleep. 15. Fifteen. Six. So no bonus to that? No bonus to that. Just a check. Nine, Nineteen. Uh, Haggis is, strangely enough, he was absent last time. Haggis, you're just dead on your feet, tired. You were at exhaustion level one. Uh, so any fighting encounters uh, will be problematic. I will now take perception checks as it is high noon and you are trekking your way towards the ruins. At 20. Nine. 17. Five. Uh, Haggis Crafting, copious of old bitters. Oh. There is something nearby. Actually, 12. I'm sorry, I forgot my bonus. Bonus. Yep, 12 still not good enough. But <laughs> these, these two have heard some noise uh, just off the trail. I heard some noise off the trail. What? Which way? That way. <laughs> that way. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. I I heard it. He's right. There's something over there. Why don't you guys go investigate then? Yeah. Phineas Latrec didn't hear shit. I it it <laughs> could be Robert <laughs> wandering around the jungle on his own. I hmm. uh, Haggis, do you want to? Look over there, go, you know, a few yards into the jungle by yourself and see what it is. Seems legit. Yeah, sure. Uh, and, and with uh, Man Fang gone, uh, diplomacy actions are going to have to be held by you because the youth seem to know how to deal with people correctly in strenuous situations. Haggis, as you leave the trail, uh, your faithful guide, Phineas, uh, climbs to a halt and says, uh, I got to stretch my legs. Uh, so welcome aboard, Man Fang. Uh, hopefully your diplomacy so skills aren't needed today. Uh, Haggis <laughs> leaves the trail, goes off into the distance, uh, about 20, 30 feet, and you notice a small band of tabaxi. Uh, they looked a little bit notched up. Uh, you don't recognize any of them from the city. Uh, they're covered in leaves and strange hides. It's almost as if they were feral tabaxi. All right. That doesn't seem too good. That doesn't seem good. Give me your stealth check to see if you're able to sneak up on them. Oh. Uh, well, <laughs> do I have to sneak up on them? Oh, you can, you can barge on in and go... Well, I, I mean, can I just, I want to observe from a distance. Like, can I just get a, another, another look? What are their weapons? Do they have weapons? Do they... They, they are armed with spears and cutlasses. That doesn't seem good. So I'm going to go back to the, to the party and say there, there's a bunch of uh, crazy tabaxi cat down there. Anything? Nothing? So are you telling all of us this now? Yeah. And what do they look like again? Uh, that so doesn't matter. It's just who they are. <laughs> How many that of them that doesn't there? matter. They're evil and we need to kill them. <laughs> How many? Um, there, there was a group. So, uh, seven. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Did they see you? No, they did not. I was not close enough to stealth. So why don't we uh, just keep moving and try to be quiet, keep an yeah, eye out. I agree. Yeah. I I also tell what's his face, the and Felix. We, we all remember that there was like a real <laughs> prohibition against visiting this city, right? That was like raise the hackles on all these cats. Yep. Okay. Maybe we should just be a little bit quieter going through the jungle. <laughs> Uh, Felix, uh, D12 against me, please. Oh, boy. That's a 10. <laughs> uh, 
a large expulsion of gas from Phineas Latrec sounds like he's oh. a bit sounding. Uh, he is very tired. He's like, that's on you. Sorry. That's on you. When you said there was a mist hanging through the jungle, there's another did it, mist now. Did it, did it part? <laughs> there was flapping. I will say that. But uh, everybody, perception check. Oh, God. I, better roll better than the last time. 13. I, I, I do tell everyone, I, I almost feel like we should put a guide out in the jungle to watch the cats to make sure that they don't circle back around on us. 26. 14. 21. 18. Nobody hears shit coming from where Haggis came from. Uh, Copius has uh, ventured an idea. Phineas, uh, pass. <laughs> have gastrointestinal issues Who, who's the sneakiest of us in this group anyways not me <laughs> Man, <Fang. laughs> uh, he's a diplomat and a cat burglar they didn't say oh, yeah. the ugly you'll never hear me coming it, don't you wear metal armor uh let me check <laughs> yeah have, i'm pretty sure i'm wearing heavy armor right now quiet as a baby <laughs> Wearing symbols. <laughs> All right. You know what? The four. The four is. I'll no. do it. I'm gonna wait. Did somebody volunteer? Yeah. Felix, the one yeah. who's only halfway crazy. Okay. I'm, no, I'm totally fine. If that was just, it was just a lack of sleep last night. It's cool. So the guy is gonna turn into a werewolf later tonight. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not turning into a werewolf. I didn't get touched. No, copious. <laughs> Uh huh. It was copious leaf and uh, Robert. Well, I, I thought uh -huh. copious got vampired. I've been vampired and now lycanthroped. <laughs> so you'll be that one off of what the hell was that movie with the good looking girl in it? Twilight? And? No. <laughs> Twilight? Uh, no, no. Twilight? Kate Beckinsale is who you're thinking of. Yeah, Kate Beckinsale. All Blankensale. right, Felix will take the jungle watch and we'll keep yeah. progressing. It'll be fine. I'm sneaky. I'll, I'll just, just sneak around. Man. Felix, you still have the uh, meowie wowie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, you do a stealth. I'll do an insight check to see if I can sniff that out. Ooh. <laughs> One, uh, six. <laughs> yeah, uh, you seem to find every down branch in the jungle <laughs> as you snap, crackle, and pop your way through a la family guy. Uh, Give me a, uh, let's give me an investigation check as you look around to make sure that they aren't on you yet. Yet. Ooh, 21. Uh, you do not see anything moving uh, other in other than in the tree canopy uh, where colorful birds are. Toucan Sam and other Fruit Loops are up there. <laughs> uh, I assume the rest of you want uh, Phineas to, oh, forward. And you're just going to flank him, Felix? Yeah, I'm just going to flank him. Fair enough. Uh, let's see uh, which way the wind's blowing for that Maui Wowie. Uh, one is coming at your face. Three will be coming at your back. You want a three or a four? That's a three. So uh, the tabaxi will not be smelling you. You may or may not smell them. Uh, as you continue through the winding uh, trail, uh, Phineas forgets whack <laughs> it's a tree and marks it uh, giving a resounding crack that's great <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he seems to be quite dehydrated he's got bags under his eyes and he is yet again eating another blue java banana <laughs> The last At least the wind's one. coming from my back. I can't That's, smell it anymore. That is true. You will not be able to smell Phineas, so do not get separated. Uh, as you trek through, you go uh, two more hours. Uh, the sun is really offensive. Uh, the humidity is right at 98%, Ooh. and you can swear it is raining sideways in front of you. Uh, Phineas pauses... Are you lost? 
Well, there's a mark on that tree and there's a mark on that tree. Uh, and as you guys all look forward, certainly uh, it appears as though there are two distinct trails uh, from Phineas's reaction. It does not appear as though he made one of them, but he cannot recall 100% which one he did. Um, he dismounts, gets off, starts to look around, uh, and there are two distinct trails uh, leading off. But he's puzzled. Um, do you guys have a thought on this one? Who, who climbed the tree and could see the city? He could. Do you want me to do that again? Uh-huh. Uh, Felix, give me another uh, investigation check, please. Sixteen. Uh, you, because you aren't too far off, notice there don't appear to be any tabaxi following you. You notice that the lizard uh, mount for Phineas is starting to climb a tree and you notice a rather large chimpanzee gorilla combination uh, seems to be stalking you guys, but it doesn't see you. Hmm. Uh, then I, if it doesn't see me, I'm going to not do anything just yet and wait to see where it, wait till it gets a little bit closer to us before D12. I sound the alarm. Sure. D12 against me. D12. Eight. Okay. Uh, it seems to be keeping its distance for right now. Phineas will track, uh, zips back down the tree and he goes, And I, he is heavily perspiring. Uh, apparently, the tree canopy is exceptionally hot. He goes, we need to go left. We, de we definitely need to go left. And we are not that far away. Um, so he takes the left trail. Is there any dissension? Just to clarify, what did he see while he was up the tree that convinced him we're going left? He saw the uh, Temple of Light with the diamond-studded orb at the top. He says it is really bright in the sunlight. Well, I have no reason not to believe him other than I have this overwhelming sense that going left is completely the wrong thing to do. <laughs> but sure. You're skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he leads you down. Uh, you guys go another three hours. It's five o'clock. Felix, D12 against me. Nine. Ty goes to the runner. Uh, the silverback is still keeping a perimeter. However, it is kind of going from nine o'clock to three o'clock, three o'clock to nine o'clock. Uh, depending upon the tree cover. It is still not seeing you, uh, but it does not appear to be a threat to the party at this time. Uh, Haggis, Leaf, Copious, Manfang, you notice that the trail, as it were, is getting way more distinct. Uh, it seems as though some of the foliage here has been hacked down. You are starting to see the definitive slashes uh, made by Phineas, who is not making them anymore as he's finding a whole lot more of them. Uh, and it appears as though you have reached the opening of the jungle. Phineas stops. Okay, why? Why is he stopping? He motions silently for somebody to come up and look. I'll go over. <laughs> Everybody comes up. <laughs> you look. Uh, the forest is 
not quite carved out, but is fairly open in this region. It is an open section uh, with moss and vine covered walls. Uh, off in the distance, you see on a slight rise, uh, this temple of light. Uh, and you can clearly see the illumination reflecting off this massive item. It appears to be maybe three quarters mile away, uh, but the walls seem to encompass what was what was once a city. Uh, Phineas says, gentlemen, the Nizumi ruins. So where's the uh, opening in the wall? Where's the gates? Phineas. You, you do not see one. Oh, are you asking him? I'm asking him. Uh, and if you don't know, say you don't know. I think it's left. I think. Know. I'm pretty sure it's left. Well, I think we should walk in a direction of the uh, temple, if that's possible, and look the for a way in. Uh, the temple is beyond the wall. Right. So it, it's kind of like the wall is here and off here in the background is the temple. It appears to be some kind of, I won't say Mayan design, but probably Mayan design. Definitely not tabaxi design. Um, can I tap um, F Phineas? Was that his name? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tap him on the shoulder. And I just want to know when or... D does, did he at all remember when or where his colleague had their episode at the temple? Oh, yeah, he remembers, but it wasn't at the temple. We never got to actually go to the temple. Uh, he was encountered uh, at the old jail. In the city? Mm -hmm. It is... Uh, once we find the entrance, if we follow the entrance back around to the right, uh, it is a definitive uh, building with iron, rusty iron bars. Uh, hence, we call it the jail. Uh, inside the ruins, uh, gentlemen, there are a lot of buildings. Not all of them are searchable. Uh, there is one that we can use as a base of operations, as we did before, uh, prior to uh, my associate going uh, banana land. And from the uh, perimeter, you hear Phineas, mm, banana. Yeah, does banana man, does banana land mean diarrhea land? Uh, not That's in the case not. for his associate. <laughs> <laughs> for my case, yes, I seem to have suffered a, a significant incontinence due to the blue java. Mm -hmm. Tasty as it may be, it did not agree with me in the end. So, Phineas, is there anything we should be careful of if we ride up to the around the wall of the city? <clears throat> As I recall, um, there is a, an open marketplace where something was at. I myself uh, am more of a scholar. I uh, tended to stay back in our uh, camp, making sure that everything was taken care of. All right, I say we head down, start looking for a way in. <clears throat> How tall is this wall we're going to be walking around? About 11 feet. No. Is it climbable? Mm -hmm. There are vines everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, Felix is not with you guys. He is out on the perimeter, unless you have opted to come in. I think, yeah, when we hit the stop and Phineas motioned to everybody, I came in. Okay. Uh, the silverback is still observation mode. And I haven't said anything. Fair enough. That so weary, it's all yours to deal with. Oh, <laughs> well, we can't carry the zonkeys up over the wall, so we might as well work our way around. Yeah, and I'm not leaving this albino zonkey here. The tabaxi will love it. Oh, yes, they will. Yeah, let's go around the wall. Uh, somebody give me an investigation check. Not me. I don't see shit. I don't see shit either. 
13. 21. Man Fang. And you're muted. <laughs> 10, because my investigation is minus three. Uh, Copious, you see something that causes you to stop dead in your tracks. It appears to be a pitted statue, possibly scorched by acid, possibly scorched by the ravages of time. It is in the form of a large gargoyle. It seems to jut out from this wall. Uh, leering over anybody who makes the passage here. You can tell from this region, uh, the ground is very hard packed. Clearly, there used to be a significant amount of foot traffic here as the jungle has not been able to reclaim it even after all these years. <clears throat> uh, well, I'm going to pause and investigate a little more. Does it look like, uh, again, you said it was pockmarked with maybe acid, maybe time does it look as though aside from the packed earth there's any other obvious signs of disruption either from the statue or something that would be hitting the statue and the ground you said it's there's no vegetation but anything on the wall beneath the gargoyle that kind of stuff just beyond the gargoyle the wall seems to jut out as if it were perhaps a guard tower uh, give, me an in, give me an insight check before you point it out to everybody uh, da, 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 22. The gargoyle looks like a turtle. Did you say turtle? Mm -hmm. Is it wholly formed or is it like just partially coming out from the wall, like clearly built into the wall? Uh, it seems to be, the backside seems to be embedded into the wall, but it is three-dimensional. And when I say turtle, I mean humanoid turtle. It's Gamera? It, is a, it is a turtle. <laughs> Phineas, uh, his Gila monster's just still troping ahead because he has seen this before uh, and he will point out <sighs> Entrance is right over here, boys. All right, well they can keep troping. I'm going to poke at it with, you know, a stick. Sure. Just to see. Well, that's interesting. And then show everybody. Does this work? Uh, Phineas turns around and he goes, what are you doing? I'm poking the turtle person. Do you see more of these turtle looking statues inside the city when you were here last time? Do you not know what the Nazumi ruins are? Well, No. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are class act adventurers. Okay, the Nazumi ruins. Yeah, isn't two more days. <laughs> isn't Tabaxi in origin? The Tabaxi took over play drill from the Tortles <gasps> from the uh, east. Uh, they now have the eastern island. This is a Tortle sanctuary. That's it's why the Tabaxi san sanctuary. Yeah, that's why you aren't allowed to come here. Tabaxi don't want the stain of the Tortle back. Huh. Oh. I don't know about steam, but I'll bet they made some good soup. Turtle soup? Uh, in answer to your question, no, we did not see. There are a lot of turtle statues in there, but we didn't see any real turtles. Then why is it a sanctuary? This was their city, not the Tabaxi. When the turtles controlled the full set of island chain, uh, this was their land and this was their base. This was their furthest western base. And what happened to them? You said the Tabaxi took over. How? Wars. So he will whip out one of his many, many, many multitude of maps. And it will show clearly this. <coughs> So you see, Playdrill is actually the largest section of the island chain. Uh, Pleum Bly is where the turtles managed to maintain their final stand. Uh, but the Tabaxi, they're rumored to have crash landed here at some point in time, and they took over the turtles, at least their land. 
And this temple, this city, used to be their western capital. Are there any turtles still living on the island? Not on play drill. What about on play and Bly? That is their homeland. They're still there then? They're still there. Are there tabaxi on play and die? Bly? I'm sorry? Are there uh, tabaxi on the play and Bly as well? Slaves. Slaves. Oh. That works. Where's the capital? Fartar? Yes. Not Tartar. Uh, Sounds like a good Bartar. place for Phineas to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Bartar. And in case you haven't noticed, the Tabaxi do not want any total relics here. Uh, mm. They don't want them uncovered. They don't want them brought to the city. That was a very bloody period of time. Now, if you were so inclined to rescue artifacts, you may find a very lucrative offer on the other island chain. Uh Not that I would condone such brash theft or thievery. Well, I don't Uh, consider that theft or thievery or just returning the goods to their rightful owner. Yeah, you, sir, have a good head on your shoulders. Yes, they should all be in a museum. (laughs) Absolutely, a museum. (laughs) For a small shipping and handling fee. Well played. Well played. Uh, So, would we like to go in and utilize our old camp, assuming everything is okay? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Let's check it out. I mean. Uh, Your valiant guide. Everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, as you round the corner, uh, the gargoyle is recessed somewhat. The guard tower is out. There's a second guard tower. There is a rusted, fractured uh, iron portcullis. Part of it's standing. Part of it is laying down, uh, covered in dirt. Uh, the grand opening to the city of Nizumi uh, must have been very ostentatious at one point in time as you notice the archway leading over the guard towers you notice uh the faces uh in relief of many uh turtles you also see nizumi written in there most of the buildings as you peer around the side are somewhat squat with a flat roof on top somewhat resembling a turtle with the table on its back. Uh, There are a few buildings that are significantly higher up along a slight rise through the center of town uh, near another set of gates is the illustrious Temple of Light where the diamond encrusted orb sits on the ceiling. Uh, On your left is Uh, It appears to be a temple. Uh, Initially on your left here, let me go ahead and share this one. It'll be easier. Um, This is yours. Okay. So you are at this entrance. Uh, Passing underneath the arch will allow you to see this building, which is in complete ruins. It's got several trees poking out through the ceiling. Uh, If you ask Phineas, he'll say it, it was probably an inn or a tavern. He's not really sure. Uh, This was a temple. This is the temple where uh, the orb of light sits atop of it. Over here on the right is uh, 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 right here on the right uh, clearly resembles a stable, uh, a very sturdy stable. You aren't sure what Tortles Road Uh, but it had to be something large just due to the construction here. Anything in blue here is uh, water Uh, and not very good water either. Uh, But yes, I'll go ahead and leave that up for the time being. Uh, Phineas will tell you that over here was their camp that they used. 
Uh, he said the water is not very good, uh, but boiling it uh, is going to make it fine. The jail, where in fact uh, there, his associate went bananas, is right there. He said he is only covered, he and his retinue have covered this section, this section, and a brief encounter in the jail. Did, did they do an initial scout of the whole town or just begin on that end and start their way through those first few blocks? I myself was going to assist my party by going out and being a cartographer and helping them out. But shortly after my associates went into the jail, a loud scream was heard. I bravely returned to try and help, but was unable to. So I have been to here what and is that? here. This uh, was an old inn. Uh, there's no money there. I checked. Um, ale? There were a few casks of ale left. Uh, cool. I would have taken them, but uh, I believe in the law. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this uh, was a particularly lucrative uh, location uh, filled with armor and shields, but I disdained the use of it, so uh, mm. I didn't see anything of value. Mm. Over here, uh, just from initial inspection, initial, mind you, uh, seemed to be a library of some sorts. But I did not venture in there. So... Uh, this is to the rest of the party uh, and does it, it, it and is there merit in doing a quick on the zonkeys assuming we can get everything's passable do a quick once over in this town just to make sure there's we're the only ones in here before we set up camp again probably be a good idea yeah i agree with that and then we've got a couple of locations that phineas has identified that may be of value to us yeah. the library and the Armory. armory and uh, the tavern with all the, and the tavern. Yeah. yeah i'd be very interested uh let's go there first <laughs> after after we do ah, the perimeter search let's do the perimeter search first yeah yeah i'll uh, yeah let's do that uh are we going right down main street uh, right through here oh uh, we might as well yeah uh everybody give me perception checks yeah, uh, uh, nine, oh. <laughs> 19, 17, is that, that is 14, 18, 18, 14. Uh, 18, uh, and I believe Felix and leaf. So Haggis, leaf and Felix, you are not alone as you see shadowy figures move in and about uh, this building uh -huh. and this building. One of those was a library, you said? This one is believed to be the library. This one uh, appears to be a temple. Uh, there is a large tortle statue out in front, and uh, the name Kagor uh, sits at its base. Uh, it is not covered in moss. It is not covered in vines. It is a little on the pitted side. But other than that, it seems to be in rather pristine condition. As you reach the mouth of the plaza, you notice that colorful cobblestones cover this plaza. Um, give me an insight check, everybody. Oh, that's also very good. Uh, 15. Five. 11. 15. Four. None of you notice what the pattern is. However, you do notice right here is a large statue sitting on a pedestal of a turtle with two cutlasses in each hand. A very heroic figure. There are vines, there are moss, uh, and there are lichens covering both the pedestal and the statue itself, along with a health, uh, healthy load of bird droppings. I want to pass on the information to whoever didn't notice that there are shadowy figures around the library and the temple both. 
Do you do that before you enter the plaza or after? I do it as soon as I see them. Okay. Uh, so everybody knows that. Yes. As you, uh, did you want to investigate the statue or just wander through? I can ride over by it, I guess. So just to make sure that visually, what appears to be a temple has a statue with nothing covering it. No vines, no bird droppings, no lichen, nothing. Statue nice in the clean. middle of the village, covered in vines, dropping. Clearly, nature is reclaiming one statue. Nothing is touching the other. That is correct. Right. And and I'm too busy looking at the pretty pattern on the ground to notice any of this until Leaf points it out, right? Correct. <clears throat> Well, I, I, I'm going to saddle up to Felix again because he, he's super stealthy and he did the work in the jungle and see if uh, he or uh, Haggis can sort of drop back and begin sl- siding their way over to the temple and see if they can maybe disappear uh, in the shadows of that and just observe and monitor the temple since we saw something is moving around in there. Yeah, I'll do yeah, that. I can, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. I'll, I'll go. I'll be sneaky. So, Ken Feng, you are, you are our you, diplomat. You, so you, you stay, stay with me. Yeah, you stay with me, man, Feng. So, All right. So Felix and Haggis are going where? We're going to kind of wander over towards the temple. Are we going to stay which, with visual which contact? Temple? That temple? I thought you that guys temple. were going to try to work into the shadows. <laughs> Wait, yes, are we, we going are. to that temple or the big one with the crystal? The one Not where the, the little money, arrows <laughs> Not I want that crystal. Yet, I guess. Easy, Abu. <laughs> we'll get to that diamond. The diamond, the big orb covering diamonds. Uh, Felix and Manfang, you notice that the good plan seems to be cutting out a little bit. As Copius goes ahead and makes his explanations, uh, give me an insight check, both of you, please. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, fourteen. Uh, Felix, you notice it a little bit more. You kind of reach over, grab Copius, and pull him closer to you. His voice is crystal clear. Everything he is saying is fine. Hmm. Well, I guess if everything's all right, then we can go. I'm going to lean back and say, can you repeat that one more time, Copius? You're leaning back from Copius? Yeah, because you said I grabbed him and pulled him really close, right? Correct. Yeah, so I'm going to, because I'm starting to think that some sort of spell is getting cast on us. Uh You've pulled him forward, and then you lean back. Copius's voice is fine. Fine on both of them? hmm Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, it sounds like a good plan. We will head over to the temple and stick to the shadows. And if we see something, we will we'll be sure to, like, signal you guys. Wait, are we doing the Navy signals or the Army signals, the hand signals? Just, just or baseball. Just do baseball. Yeah. <laughs> Am I supposed to steal third? What? Yes. <laughs> it's a sacrifice bunt. <laughs> oh, perfect. So I'm okay with that. Felix and Haggis, go ahead and give me stealth. Uh, because it is about five o'clock now. Uh, the shadows are starting to play games with you. Uh, I assume Copious, Leaf, and Manfanger are still looking at the statue or just circling yeah, around. Kind of circling around. around. Oh, I fumbled the stealth. It's a natural one. Oh, very nice. Clang, clang, clang. With the trolley. <laughs> what was yours, man, Fang? I, I don't think I was. All right. Okay. Let me roll. Man, Fang's not man with Fang them. Hey, no, 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 no. No, I'm oh, going. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I want to go. My, now. Hey, hey, hey. My, my bad. My bad. My bad. Haggis. Your so stealth roll. There you go. My stealth roll is 23. <laughs> Well, it's easy to be stealthy when Felix has a spotlight shined on him. Yeah, uh, uh, Felix and Haggis, you both notice uh, some shadowy movement 
uh, inside the temple, but it quickly disappears. Uh, as you notice, uh, the teak wood uh, is in a arched pattern right behind the statue that is completely uncovered in grime. Uh, but it looks like you can just walk around it and open the door. Open the door. Let's do it. Uh, Felix and Man Fang, as you cross the street here to get to the temple entrance, go ahead. No, no, no. Oh. That's Felix and Haggis. That's right. Well, Felix and Haggis. Well, I want to go, but I want to go, though. I, I'm trying to help you, Man Fang. I really No, they just don't. Haggis and Felix, go ahead and give me perception checks. 22. 16. Uh, Felix, as you cross into the open, you see movement down here at the entrance. Haggis, you see movement down here. Uh, it's like small creatures are running across uh, trying to hide, just like you. I'm going to do my best like stealth impersonation and be like... Mm. With a one again? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the hand signals, and I imagine he's going to go, what? <laughs> but I'll... <laughs> I'll just lean in and tell him what I'm seeing. Who? Feel third? You. There's going to be a storm tonight. She needs milk? <laughs> yes. Uh, as you guys circumvent the statue, you hear uh, stone on stone grinding. Initiative. Mm. Oh, shit. Just for the two of them initiative, right? Nine. Eighteen. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, Copious, uh, you see the statue, the unblemished statue, left, Felix, uh, odd Felix, uh, even Manfang, head towards Felix and raise its stony spear. Uh, it looks like oh, there's going to be a fight. Uh, so Felix, you have it with an 18. Do I realize that there's about to be a fight? Oh, yes. You okay. hear the grinding, look up and see the statue raise its spear slash javelin at you. Tortle statue. Uh, and it looks like it's going to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm still mounted on my zonkey, correct? That is correct. Uh, I think that this statue might not be fully disconnected from the ground. Okay. So I'm going to run. Fair enough. Uh, it is the statue's turn. It attempts to stab you at disadvantage. Uh, Missing horribly, shattering one of the cobblestones with its stone spear, where moments before your zonkey was right there. Uh, that brings us to Haggis. Uh, you see the statue. You hear the statue move. You see the statue move. You see the statue stab into the cobblestone where Felix and his zonkey were just moments before. What would you like to do? Is this thing on top of the building, on top of the temple? Nope, it's right in front. It's not sitting oh. on a pedestal. It's like just right in front. Well, I'm also going to run. Maybe because if it can't like if it's stuck, then I'll I'll go behind a, a rock or a corridor or an alley or something. I'll just run away. OK, uh, your associates are over here by the statue. They see what's going on. Uh, which direction are you guys running? Because the temple uh, entrance is right here. Yeah, where were our associates? They were over there. And They're we were over there. here at the tortoise statue covered in bird droppings. Yeah, Come I was going to kind of run, uh, I guess it's kind of up to the right towards the opening of the courtyard. Okay. Yeah, right about where your pointer is there. Okay. And I might try to signal our uh, friends that, hey, shit's going down. <laughs> Might need uh, some help. Haggis, where did you want to go? Um, back down the... That way, yeah. Cool. Uh, 
Hey, Felix, what were those hand signs for shits going down? I think it was kind of like this. <laughs> oh, hey, look, he's wanting us to milk something. Uh, Hoggis, D12 against me. Two? Eleven. Uh, you saw the shadows moving over here as you run down this way. You now no longer see shadows. They're actually creatures, and they are coming out of the woodwork at you. Good news for Felix. Uh, you have guessed correctly. The statue is not moving. Uh, so that is not going to be an issue. Uh, however, uh, Haggis has run into giant rat creatures. This could, this could be a good thing. Let's see I mean, the statue distance. could attack them. You have 50 feet between you and them, Hoggis. Uh, meanwhile, Felix runs over, tells Leaf, Copius, and Manfang, holy shit, did you see that thing? I almost got caught. That was a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. uh, and you guys did nothing. Thank you. Uh, Didn't if, see it. If anybody comes Didn't close to the statue, you'll notice that your voice cuts in and out, and you don't hear yourself. So it's almost like there's a silent statue around or a silent spell around this statue, possibly in the form of reverence. Uh, back to Manfang, you see four giant rat creatures holding swords headed your way. What would you like to do? Manfang sees them or hangs? Yeah, what would Manfang like to do? I'm going to get on my axe and then say, stop. And if they don't stop, I'm going to attack. <laughs> Uh, Manfang goes to the assistance of Haggis. Uh, well, well, not good because I'm going to run away to where the other statue was and kind of signal the rat creatures to follow me. Like, you know, taunt them a little bit, flip them off, you know, oh. really get them to come after me. But I'm going to run near the statue that was attacking me. So Haggis is the Pied Piper. He's going to yell, your mother hates cheese. Uh, that's fair. As Manfang rounds the corner, Manfang, uh, you see Haggis shoot out towards in front of the statue guarding the temple. Uh, I assume just out of the reach of that thing. Manfang, um, or Haggis, rather. Well, I want... I don't want to be in exact shot towards the statue. I want the signal the creatures, rat creatures, to come with me that I'm going to run back to where the statue's point of view was. So you want to be right here where the F is? With um, yeah, run run back. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Manfang, good news. You're alone in this fight. Roll initiative against the four creatures. Six. That yeah, is not right. good enough. As the Zonkey and its illustrious rider shoot back into the plaza, trying to keep a distance from the spear javelin hoisted turtle, uh, four giant rat creatures, choir <coughs> rats, uh, charge into the plaza, and it is on like Donkey Kong. There are five of you currently, so let's roll a d10. Uh, one, two. Three, four. The first one is going after six. Felix. Uh, the second one is going after Man or uh, Haggis. The third one is going after Leaf. And the final one is on Manfang. So Felix, Haggis, Leaf, Manfang. Uh, you guys are going to be engaged, not this round. Uh, Manfang, you are engaged this round, and he gets the first attack. Do we need to roll initiative? Right. Not yet. Not yet. No. Yeah, because these things, he ran towards the fight. You guys stayed put. Uh, is. 17 plus 4, 21. Uh, you get hit by the blade, which is a plus. Whew. Five hit points of damage, man, Fang, and it ah, is your ah, turn. Ah, my spine, ow. Okay, now 
I am going to hit them back with my great axe, because it's great. Let's see if I can actually hit them. Alright, cool. Is there a ghost over there? A go 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 uh, now, who's watching Manfang Zonky? Because he said he unsheathed his axe and ran that way. So, nobody. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, everybody but Manfang and I can now re-roll it or roll initiative uh, as the were rats uh, siphon off on you guys. 21. 10 for copious. 16. Uh, uh, who had the 16? Okay, I got that wrong. 10 for copious? Correct. Uh, Felix? Uh, it said 21, but I actually had 20. I missed, I and, added the wrong multiplier. And Haggis. Your initiative? Uh, 19. Very good. Uh, 20, Felix. Uh, your creature is coming within striking distance. I'm gonna try to keep my distance and fire ranged weapons at it, firing my bow. You are still on your zonkey? I am still on the zonkey. Okay, you should be is able to it, how, distance it. How tall are these rats? Uh, they are humanoid size, so oh, five, five to six. Okay, so like a no humanoid size, help. yeah. Natural one. Yes. Give me Damn a, it. Give me Maybe. a D, D10. Uh, one, two, leaf, all the way to you, nine, ten. Uh, uh, a six. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry, man, Fang, you take one in the noggin. <laughs> That's oh, great, different. man. You suck. Well, on the plus side, it's only a one plus three. Three, so four damage. So two. You still suck, big two me. damage. Two, da two damage. Uh, nicely done. I I, so I, I do appreciate that. Nineteen, <laughs> Hoggis, you're up. Uh, Hoggis, uh, yours is also in range now. Like when you mean in range, do you mean like I could stab it, or do you mean I could shoot it? If you want to be in melee range, you can be. If you want to spur your zonkey a little bit and do what Felix did and shoot Manfang, you can do that as well. No, don't you dare get off that zonkey and fight. But I'm just, I'm just. Is he like charging at me? He is like, charging he like, at you. Okay, well, as they I'm came on. into the plaza, they saw you because you retreated. They saw Manfang. Uh, they didn't see the other three until they actually got into the mouth of the plaza. Well, I'm just thinking if I. If I'm on top of my stonky, can I jump off and hit him with advantage if I wanted to? Uh, I'd be coming down. Uh, I'll give you advantage on your damage roll. Because okay. your, tar your targeting wouldn't be improved. You could put a little bit more force. Uh, I'm not a physics guy, but I I'll give you advantage on damage if you hit him. Okay. Or if you hit Manfang. I mean, I I'll give you full oh. on that oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> Does a two hit him? Just uh, almost hits Manfang. <laughs> <laughs> Suck. Uh, Manfang, uh, your associate Haggis whisks the blood from the arrow from your uh, spinal column. Uh, that brings us to Leaf with the sixteen. A lot of whiffers. Are these swag dice that you gave us loaded dice, Frank? Uh, actually, they've always rolled high for everybody but you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, 21. 21's good mm. enough to hit. Uh, who are you? Oh, you've got one on you. So, oh, yeah. No. And I hit for six. Nicely done. Uh, that brings us to the 10. Uh, Copious. Copious, uh, you don't have anybody on you, so you have a wide range. Phineas is still looking at the statue. 
wondered where Phineas was. Um, can do I have time to attack, but also take a look down the other alley because they said there were shadows on both sides. I just want to make sure nothing's sneaking up on us before I fire. Yeah, you can take a look. Uh, you do not see anybody uh, breaking the plane of the plaza. All right, I'm going to cast a spell. Um, probably not at the one that has man fang. <laughs> How about the 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 uh, next nearest one to Man Fang, whoever that would be? Oh, uh, I'll roll a D4 so for you. Uh, that'd be Felix's. All right, Felix's it is. And so if you roll a one, one you're hitting one, Felix. one, one. Twenty-two. Easily hits. So I sorry sorry Man Fang, I tried I tried my best. You didn't try at all. Okay, to be honest, I didn't try at all. You're right. Exactly. I'm always 11 there. points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, that brings it to me, Felix. Uh oh. Felix, uh, your guy drops his weapon. Oh. I guess I scared him. Now he'll have ah. to use his bite attack next round. Booga booga. Haggis. Nat 20, Haggis. Leaf, uh, 7 plus 4 is only an 11. And Manfang, 13 plus 4 does a 17 get you. Yes, just one of my armor class. So Manfang and Haggis are suffering damage. Of course it's me. Two hit points on a crappy roll. Uh, Manfang, that brings us to you to end this round. All right. I'm just going to hit it again. Maybe. Do, do, are the arrows still in my spine? Oh, yeah. It's it's in your armor somewhere. That's great. But you can pick up your local TV station, so that's a cool thing. Okay. See if I can hit him. Or it's caused you to start to drool. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen hits. All right, right. And that is an eleven. Uh, almost. <laughs> almost. Uh, new round. Starting with twenty. Felix, uh, the zonky must have caused you to miss. That's what it was. You uh, yeah, before. that must have been. Yeah, hit me right <laughs> back. So I saw it drop its weapon and start running towards me. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh. How am I fast if I'm still mounted? Can I outrun them? You can outrun it by five. Trample it. Uh, but I don't think I can shoot and run at the same time. You can. You'll suffer a minus two penalty. Unless you can uh, give me an animal handling skill. I think that's what I'm going to try to do because I. Yeah. Let's see if you're a Navajo. All right. Animal handling. Yep. Don't 11. Get back again. 11? No. Uh, you're going to shoot at minus two. Okay, so that's minus two to hit? Yep. Damage will be unencumbered. Uh, 11 <laughs> for... Almost. Hit? Almost. Uh, you rang one off his armor, uh, but that's a no-go. Haggis, 19, you're up. All right. So I'm just going to get off my Zonky just to you know, just to get off. And then I'm going to attack this dude. Yeah. My dude. 13. 13 hits. 12 awesome. is your magic number for the wear rats. Awesome. Good news, Felix. The bite is, is minor damage compared to the sword. It's just the disease that's the problem. That's exactly what I'm afraid 11 of. damage. Nice. Uh, 16, Leaf the Druid. Is there just Remember, one of these in front of me, or is there more than one? Just one. There's only four total. There's five of you. Okay. A natural 20. Nice. Damage, damage modifier. That's Nine. 15 copious v bitters 
uh, do uh, of the, all the standing rat people, uh, which one looks like they're on their last legs? Which one looks like it's the freshest? Clearly, man fangs is a little bit worse for wear. After that, it looks like Felix and Haggis. Uh, both both have been wounded, but neither appear to be uh, overly injured. But and, man fangs is on its last leg because his Felix is, is chasing after him as he goes riding by on a zonkey, right? Correct. Okay, so I, uh, you know, Copius with his strain, strong battle sense, uh, glances around, recognizes this, and the immediate threat is the one on Haggis. He's going to cast a spell at Haggis. Is okay. He's going to miss horribly, however. How 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 horribly? Not as horribly as Felix. <laughs> that is that is fair enough. Uh, that brings us to the were rats. But first. Um, Targeting Manfang, a stone skitters off the cobblestones, uh, and a quick look behind you shows you that Phineas Latrec has entered the fight as he's throwing his sling around, but he misses uh, poorly. Not Felix misses, but me, uh, misses nonetheless. So uh, against Felix. Uh, I am not going to be able to catch you, so uh, play the uh, Monty Python tune or uh, some other colorful arrangement. I'm thinking more Benny Hill. Benny Hill Benny Hill works. Um, he's going to continue to chase you. Haggis. Uh, that's a five, so that's not even close. Uh, Leaf. Three, I'm getting worse, but Manfang. 10, so 14. I assume 14 misses you. Nope. We should okay. Fang. Man Fang, you are up. Woo! I'm going to hit it again because that's the only thing I really think about doing. I missed! How bad? It was a three. All right, fair enough. Top of the order again, Felix, with your 20. You're still All right. Sam. Same thing. I'm going to keep running and shooting. Same disadvantage? Uh, well, give me, let's see if your animal handling skills. Oh, improve. all right. Let's try it again. Oh, this time it's 16. You will shoot normally. All right. Now, now that you've figured out how to grip the zonkey. <laughs> and for the rest of this fight, you will have figured out how to grip the zonkey. Sounds good. So 15 to hit. Yep. All right. Uh, seven damage. Nice. Uh, next up is the 19. That would be Haggis. Okay. Um, I'll attack again with a natural 20. 20s and 1s, baby. Uh, damage, damage, and modifier. Uh, yeah. 8 damage right. for 1. And 13 damage on the other. Uh, oh, one hit point left. Wah, wah. Uh, 16, Leaf, the Druid. Oh, wow. I'm uh, going to go ahead and cast Flame Blade. Eighteen. I can't remember. Can I remember what the hell that is? Is it plus D six to your damage? That's three dice six, I think. Ah, a little shake and bake. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth level. Four dice six. Oh, good roll. Five, eight, ten, fourteen. Close. Not close nah, enough. Copious. I'm going to switch to the rat chasing Benny Hill like uh, Felix on his zonkey. Mm -hmm. So we'll add to the comedic flair. Uh, 18 to hit. Hits. And 12 damage. 
Well, you guys are carving them up pretty good. Not good enough. Uh, let's see who Phineas the hero is going after. He's uh, going after Manfangs again. Nat 20. Nicely done. He's ever rolled, I'm pretty sure. Well, his damage roll was a total of three. <laughs> but he's helping because he's a helper. Uh, and at least he didn't shoot you in the head. That's true. Uh, on Felix, <gasps> your giant rat is getting tired of chasing you. On Hagas, uh, 18 plus 422. That'll hit. Leaf, 11 plus 4 is only a 15. That hits. Okay. And Man Fang. 5 plus 4. Man Fang eludes damage. For the other two, it's Four damage to you as their swords hack into your flesh. Manfang, uh, you dodged a bullet there. It's up to you. So, my guy is dead, right? He will be if you hit him. Then I'm going to hit him. He's got three hit points left. Or I'm not. How about I just roll a four? Wah, wah. Hoggis, uh, yours has one hit point left. Okay. Um, can I just punch him in the face? Can I do that? Sure. You know, no, why not? Just just go I'm for it. Stab him in the eye with a pencil, like John Wick. Um, if, 11. If it's a one, uh, no, you do not hit him because you need a 12. If it was a one, you would have punched him in the tooth, which would have been a problem. Uh, 16 leaf. Yeah. Yours has uh, four left. All right. I think the Benny Hill music should be extended. 13. That hits. Okay. For all these green ones, they give me better numbers. Hey, what can I classy, say? Man. They're classy dice. <laughs> 20. Dead. Uh, copious. Uh, you have a plethora of options here. So uh, we have one dead one, one or two that are staggering, almost dead. Whatever the healthiest one is, is the one I'm going to target. 30, 32, and 30 out of 33. <laughs> so you, you can pick uh, Felix, Hagas, or Manfang. A successful hit should knock any of them down. Sure. I'll take uh, Manfangs. You said a successful hit? Yes. And what's the successful number? 12. Ah, 12. That's what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going after? Man Fangs for 13 points of damage. That'll finish him off. That should have uh, shredded that rat. Here, hero of the realm, Phineas Latrec, is going to go odd even. Odd Felixes. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, uh, take two hit points and give me a dex check as you take a stone to the forehead. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> ah, 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 oh, poetic justice. Have you ever watched it a when five. a horse has somebody caught in their saddle strap and they're dragged behind it around a ring? I, I think I, that's what's about to happen. I, I consider that. You know, <laughs> I, I'll go odd. You just fall off. Even you get dragged. Four. Uh, you're getting dragged. Take an additional two hit points as your head is ricocheting off the cobblestone as your zonkey is in full charge. Uh, the were rat lunges for you. Did I just hear him say were rat? Yep. And misses you uh, as the uh, rat like claw reaches out, but your zonkey is too fast as it bobbles your head like it's dribbling. Uh, Haggis, yours is the only other one left. Uh, that is a 16 plus four. That is a dirty 20. Uh, Haggis, you're going to take the heat for six hit points of damage as he slashes you through. Manfang, uh, yours is dead. Leafs is dead. Felix's is on the deck, uh, and Haggis's is engaged in combat.
I'm good. Yes, that's is that just me? I, nope, it's Man Fang. He's last in the order. I'm gonna go oh. Haggis's. Okay. Well, Thank I'm you very gonna... much. Thank you. You're welcome. But I'm gonna attempt to hit with my Patel axe or Wait. Don't think of too much, Haggis. Uh, the only other one was Felix, and Felix shot him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't hit it. These roll. I'm changing out my dice real quick. Top of the order, Felix. Uh, yours is on knocking on death's door. Yeah, but I'm uh, getting dragged. You're getting dragged. Uh, you're going to have to cut. You know what? Did you guys buy saddles for these things? Okay. Pretty sure we did. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have to yeah. cut cut the leather. Uh, I'm or, not sure I want to do that. I'm gonna try to grab the spur, not spur. What is that thing called? Stirrup. Whatever. Stirrup. Stirrup. Yes, thank you. <laughs> There's a joke that's associated with. Never mind. <laughs> None of us are gynecologists and would not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to grab it and continue to be dragged. To avoid the wear rat. Okay. Uh, and maybe take half damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's give a fairly high uh, athletics or acrobatics. I'll let you choose. Ooh, plus five for acrobatics. <laughs> a nine. Uh, that's with the plus five. At, uh, you grab it. It burns you, and your head hits the deck for four more <laughs> oh. fours. Uh, and that brings us to Haggis. Haggis, Jesus. yours is still alive. It's still alive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just stab it in the back. 18. You're going to kill it. It's got one hit kill point. It. One hit point. Did, uh, do, I have to, do I even have to roll, or can I just... You can say you killed it. I killed it. Uh, Leaf, you can try and uh, grab Felix's zonkey, or you can try and grab Felix's uh, were rat who is getting up. I want to smack that were rat with my flaming sword. There you go. Kill it! Kill it! You know what? That's 19. Four, four turtles somewhere will no longer have their master. If you get that joke, you're old. 6, 10, 12. 12. Oh, I just got it. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. Well, I guess they remade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so you don't have to be. Yes, they did, and they changed girls. So you know, why not change masters? Well, that's true. Uh, make it a snake. Uh, all four were rats are dead. The statue over at the temple has not been able to free itself, uh, and you all notice that Felix Latrec has bird droppings on his head. <laughs> so. Uh, Phineas, he, Phineas. he comes out of the silence ring and apologizes profusely to Hootie Hit Felix. Uh, sorry about that. Can I have my stone back? No, I'm going to take his stone and I'm just going to chuck it as now far he, as I can. He did stop the zonkey for you. I didn't want him to stop the zonkey. I'm going to express my. Well, then he reaches over it. and smacks it on its flank. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. How about you take one more hit point of damage <sighs> and off you go. <laughs> He'll go over and find his own damn stone. <laughs> damn straight he will. Uh, copious, I don't think it's going to be two days till dead. I think we're already here now. Sounds like somebody's <laughs> that like a little more use for him. Give uh, the monster steaks for dinner. Uh, you know what, Felix? D12 against me. Let's see if your zonkey's Oh, there. Robert is there. Rosebud. Nice. 11? Two. Uh, your zonkey is tired and slows down. Uh, you are covered in facial bruises and tiny lacerations. Uh, and you hear Phine Phineas exclaim, Ha ha! I've got my stone. Puts it back into his pouch. <laughs> so, boys... Where next? Well, I uh, think we need to regroup and uh, collect ourselves. And uh, I don't want to run into another batch of these just yet. Me neither. Yeah, I'm all right. We still need to finish the uh, 
checking out to make sure there's nobody's going to jump yeah. us. Yeah, but I'm I'm going to skin one of the rare rats for Dad. Uh, how? Uh, nah, uh, uh, yeah. How bad were you damaged there, Man Fang? Oh, I only took like seven points of literature. So. Don't touch those animals. They're filthy. Haven't you heard of the plague? I know, but I'm trying to give it to Robert. Well, we're trying to tell you that you'll die if you go messing around with those things. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. Well, you're skinning it. If that blood mixes with your blood, you will forever be contaminated. Everybody perception check. <laughs> Using the good dice this time. 17. 12. 30, 20. 19. No matter. All of you, except for Phineas, who is admiring how many stones he has, here's a noise directly across uh, the plaza from where the statue is. Uh, it is coming from right here. There is a noise. Hmm. A broken placard on the side of the building tilted, uh, hanging from a rope, not a chain, uh, has a frothy mug on it. Well, uh, I know where I'm investigating next. Uh, I think I we need to go. Follow. You guys head over there. Uh, who wants to look in first? Uh, Copius feels like he is moving into his environment, so he'll he'll go up and peek right off the bat. Uh, you see a small figure moving about. When you say small, your size. Well, I'm going to motion to uh, whoever is nearest behind me on walking up to it and sort of indicate uh, that they need to go low and outside for the next pitch. But there's somebody in there. Who's I'll, right I'll, behind him? I'll come up behind him. Oh, then I'm behind you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm not gonna, that close behind you. Felix, I'm going to send Felix around to the door because he's so stealthy. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Yells out Phineas. <laughs> Barkeep. Uh, uh, screw this. I'm kicking the door open and walking in. <laughs> uh, as you walk in, the shadowy figure in the dusky light, do you have uh, dark vision? It is a gnome. Uh, he whirls around, uh, mug in one hand and a club in the other. And he goes, uh, who are you? Uh, I'm going to tell him we're the rescue party. <laughs> Do you have another one of those? I? Pour me, a, pour me one. Uh, who's who's the second one in? Uh, Leaf, give me an insight check. Um, Kobe, 19. He slides you across a, a wooden mug uh, and it's it's filled with a frothy ale. Uh, Leaf, you notice that this diminutive individual has clothes consistent with Phineas Lutrec. Hmm. I'm going to uh, uh, nudge Copius and in my best little stage whisper you notice he's dressed just like your buddy outside. Uh, how hard do you nudge him? Because Copius just got handed an ale. Just a, a gentle nudge. He's the little guy, you know. Give me, give me a D twenty. No, Copius, he he nudges <laughs> you and you <laughs> splash your ale. Uh, give me an attack roll to see if you splash this individual with it. Dex. Dex is your modifier. 13. Hey. Oh, yeah. You pig. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, friend. So I, I need another one of these. <laughs> You're not getting one. You remind me of a tabaxi I met in a, a tavern one day. He ordered a beer. <laughs> Give me another. <laughs> I hate that guy. Uh, he produces another mug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer him uh, uh, one of one of my many uh, vials and, and offer him say try this is this is okay but try this what do you think of this it's it's pea water it's pea water 
nor the lizard. One. I, think- I guess it is pee water. Is this urine? <laughs> <laughs> oh. From outside the tavern, who's the last one in line? Uh, Felix, uh, you, s- you see Fe- Phineas perk up and he goes, Pierre? <laughs> Pierre? And he kind of tries to shove you out of the way and go in. Are you going to let him? Oh, no way. <laughs> I'm going to give him a damn. <laughs> like, oh, here, let me get the door for you. <laughs> oh, Smacking the ass of the zonkey. I'll show him. Uh, Man, Fang, Copious, and Leaf, you are entertained by this diminutive individual, Copious, a normal size individual. Um, he's drinking another one, asks if anybody else wants one. And he actually sets his club down on the bar because he is... Yeah, if you're my rescue party, I have no need of this. So I'm just going to flat out ask him, you know, those rats we just dispatched, how many more of those are around here? Oh, they are everywhere, my boy. Oh, that's not mine. That's, that's one of those rats. Uh, there are many. You've got to be careful here, especially at night. Uh, they are everywhere. What happens at night? Are they, are they where rats? They are nectaral. We're rat. They're rat. Nectral. They're rat. Or nocturnal. Yeah, that's Noc- what I meant. Nocturnal. Yes. Nocturnal. Okay. Hmm. That's why I'm hiding in here. It's safe and <clears throat> a good place. Hmm. Would you lock the door behind you and let your other friends in? I'm going to bring my zonkey in. He doesn't care. It's not his place. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big enough to bring our zonkeys in? All of them? This, this appears to be a tavern of yeah, some kind. Four turtles yeah. who are Kind of big creatures. So there aren't a lot of tables, but they are spaced widely apart. It's almost as if there was a pandemic here. Guys, Ah, you you, you guys need to bring your zonkeys in. Yeah, I'm going to bring mine in too. Come on in, Buttercup. (laughs) We've got a fireplace here too, I assume. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Yeah, it's it's full size in. It's just really dusty and kind of grimy looking. Uh, There are some jungle tendrils coming in. Uh, However, as Phineas Latrec wanders in, he looks over and he whistles loudly and he goes, Pierre Glanbone. And Pierre looks at him and goes, Phineas Latrec. And he reaches over and picks up his club and the two close distance to the point where they are nose to nose. An uneasy peace occurs and then they laugh, ha, 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 and they hug each other. And he goes, you got separated from us. Where did you go? Uh, Pierre points out that uh, when uh, their associate went ape shit, he ran out the back of the jail uh, and got separated from the party. He goes, I got bushwhacked by uh, this giant boar, and I barely survived. Now there are... Two gnomes. <laughs> Three, Three gnomes. Well, two on the same side and copious. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask him. So, how have you managed to survive uh, all this time in the? In the- But you notice he carries a club and currently has no armor. Hmm. Later. Doesn't need any armor. We'll send him in every battle. Speaking of armor, I want to go over and check. It's getting kind of late. <laughs> Are there windows? At, there's windows in this bar, right? Or some sort of opening besides the door? Uh, there's windows, yes. So we can Cutters. reach out and be able to monitor for, you know, let's see if there's a carpet of rat people walking across the uh, plaza. Yes. I uh, think uh, Escape from New York, that kind of a tavern, although I think that was a nut place, chock full of nuts. <laughs> That's coffee, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, you can. Uh, Pierre suggests staunchly uh, that you secure that front door 
and uh, stay back from the windows in case uh, any of those uh, creeping vermin uh, come too close. Anybody else have an Omega Man feel going on right now? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, yeah. I'm getting that. Yeah. I'll. All right. I'll barricade the door with however he, whatever he's cobbled together to shut it. Oh, he, he doesn't give a shit. He's going back and drinking with uh, Phineas. So I assume there are no shutters on these windows? Nope. Okay. So, All right. So, Pierre, is this how you while away the evening then? Do you just stay in this bar drinking until the morning? Well, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, once I get everything secured, I find a nice hidey hole. Uh, there's a small cellar that I've been using. I wait till morning, sleep it off. Uh, so, careful, I got a pee bucket down there. I forgot to empty it in the last. Oh, hey, Copius, you can refill your vial. <laughs> it yeah, it kind of yeah. tastes better than that thing that you just gave me. <laughs> Re yeah. Recycled urine. Well, now so, you know the, the magic formula. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, he, Never he, ending supply. He, he quiets all of you. Shh, everybody down. Yeah. Uh, you see a dark shape uh, move past the windows. Is that a rat shape? I'm just going to play dead. It's rat. like a bear shaped. This oh. thing's huge. So it's a big, big thing? Big thing. Bears, you need to play dead. I'm it kind of looks in and window. you can tell. Wow. Almost like it can smell six donkeys shoved into a bar. Yep. Uh, but then it notices the dead were rats and begins to feast on them. I could say yeah. six donkeys are three gnomes. It, it may also lick the cobblestone that has Felix's blood splattered all over it. Uh, after the creature passes by, Pierre says, uh, we need to keep things. So shall we retire to the cellar? Yes. Can the zonkeys go down to the cellar or not? Well, then we need a watch up here because the rats are going to find the zonkeys and we're going to lose our way out of this jungle. I do not have a zonkey, my friend, so I do not care. If you want to sit up here, great. I'm going down into the cellar. Uh, Phineas points out that his Gila monster will be fine. He'll go downstairs. Why don't we see if we can block it, block the window with these tables? Yeah, that works. Uh, yeah, I keep them from looking in and give us a chance if something tries to come through the window. Give me a survival check. If you roll a one, you accidentally push a table through the window. Jeez. Yep, 15. Ooh, trying. Number three. Uh, Felix is going to need somebody to help him. <laughs> Right, roll. Roll. What do I roll? Uh, survival roll. check. Survival. Could I, um, could I set up a trap? Or not a trap, like a, more like an alerting system? If I grab my rope and tie it around? Uh, sure, give me an intelligence check. Awesome. Uh, Man Fang and Felix are going to need help moving the. Man Fang, boys, let the gnome freaking do Freaking do work. this by myself here. A foot 15? That'll work. Awesome. So I'm going to start tying rope to different parts, and then they're going to come down the cellar. So vibrations. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, copious. 14 you on survival check. All right. Added with the two missteps by Manfang and Felix, you have had enough. Uh, both major windows are obstructed, not completely, but obstructed right. enough to hopefully hide the zonkeys from any prying eyes. Now, okay. of course, all these creatures have been wandering around these ruins for potentially years, know what everything looks like, and now all of a sudden there's tables pressed up against the windows that were never there before. Possibly. Maybe. However, do you want to speak with Pierre, who has stayed here longer than any of you? No. Is there an upstairs to this end? Nope, just a cellar. All right, that's fine. There are we windows need to, in the cellar? We need to set a watch. No windows in the cellar. Pierre and Phineas have already gone down into the cellar, and you can hear them untapping a keg unsuccessfully as you hear the spray of alcohol uh, shimmering through the cellar. 
All right, I'm heading downstairs with him. I'm going to say on my way down there, no need to waste it, fellas. Let me give you a hand. As you go down the ladder, you hear, ah, it got my piss bucket. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But you get down there and you can successfully help them unless you roll a one, two, or three on a D20. 15. Uh, Felix tap a keg successfully. Uh, Haggis, you string your rope down. You have your vibration band set up. Manfang, copious and leaf. Uh, you are up with the zonkeys. Would you like to tie them all together or let them roam free? I think might we should tie them. Might as well hobble them together, I think. Yeah, because if they just keep walking around in the night, well, they're not going to make noise. They might knock something over. Yeah. We'll hobble them over at the bar. Okay. Uh, yes. I assume feed bags for them. Yep. Yeah. We'll use the sinks as feed bags. Okay. Uh, you mentioned a watch. Did you yes. want to set? Okay. Who I'll wants take to take the first watch? First watch. I'll take second. Okay. There we go. Uh, Felix, Haggis, Phineas, Pierre. Uh, there is more than enough alcohol to satiate all of your whistles. Uh, for quite some time. Uh, although you can tell Pierre's a little peeved that he's going to lose some of his stock inventory. Uh, you, uh, let's see, everybody but Leaf, give me a perception check at disadvantage. Uh, 11. 15. So that would be 11. 19. 19. Uh, Manfang, you noticed that Pierre has perched himself up on an old canvas covered, I don't know, Ottoman, maybe? Something weird. It's got it's got a great big carpet kind of thing covering over his seat. I'm but just gonna ask him, why do you have a carpet covering your seat? Like, what, what's all this? Because my ass hurts, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is well, my you throat. Knew that was coming. <laughs> uh, but Man Fang, you will notice that it is irregularly shaped, almost as if it is a chest. Can I, is there anything underneath it that you might, is there like vibe? Boy, if you're going to look under this carpet, you're going to find a monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't. I believe you, sir. Yes, Pierre does not want you looking underneath his carpet. Uh, the night is... Uh, you You may ask questions of Pierre if you'd like. Leaf, go ahead and give me a D8. <clears throat> uh, six. Uh, the uh, large creature... Eats a few of the were rats and wanders off. Uh, any questions for Pierre? I have a couple of questions, Pierre. So, one, after your associate went crazy in the prison, did you ever discover the cause after they left? And then, two, have you had a chance to wander through the city and investigate all the other buildings and find anything of interest? In any of them. Uh, hey, my friend, would you go into a place that was haunted that caused you to be crazy? Yes. I see. He looks over at Phineas. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, second, yes. Uh, I have gone everywhere but the Temple of Light. Why, why haven't you ventured to the Temple of Light? There is a creature there of significant evil that I do not feel that I need to mess with. Did you actually see the creature or have you just seen passage of the creature? I have seen the creature as it has flown over the city at night. Flown, you say? Yep. Is it like bird or insect? It's like your face on a big body. Dragon. 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 Does the dragon spit acid? Uh, I have not ventured close enough, although the walls at the temple are uh, pitted extensively. Oh, no. My friend! <laughs> Did 
did you go yeah, keep in mind this was written for six of you <laughs> uh i can get him down here he's at he's home i can get him down here did did he you might. uh uh happen to wander through the library or the armory uh i have been through the armory i need only my bare hands uh well we, we were thinking man fang if he doesn't come out of this with a turtle shell to wear on his back i'm going to be really disappointed okay yeah. man uh, there's a turtle shell there does oh. that count as leather uh no it, it's it, i think they're like ac18 it counts as plate yeah okay. it's like plate man man fang tomorrow all right uh, Turtle. Tomorrow? What's wrong with tonight? Oh, you do not want to go out there at night. What else do you see at night? Have you wa watched to see what comes out at night? There was some creature outside the window after you went in the basement. It's probably the bear looking for me. It's Russian. <laughs> the Russian bear? <laughs> it could, it could uh, get on a round ball and do tricks. Uh, in, the temple, in, in the temple, there is a... Giant serpent, but only its cartilage remains. Uh, and in the library, uh, the library, <laughs> uh, in the library, there is a dangerous shellfish in there. You do not want to go in there. That's pretty scary, man. I don't think you say shellfish, uh, shellfish, snail. Hey, yeah. Felix is an expert on crabs. <laughs> Yes, I am. I can cure it. <laughs> and you'll have a comb. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, ooh, this is like a mustache comb. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he gives you a little bit of insight on these places. Clearly, there is probably most likely a dragon at the Temple of Light, hence why nobody's stolen that damn diamond thing up there. Uh, there's some kind of uh, angry shellfish at the library. Uh, there appears to be nothing in the armory. Uh, there's something that causes insanity in the jail. Uh, and they, uh, there's a uh, temple of the serpent that has a cartilage only snake, which sounds an awful lot like a bone naga. Well, we're still passing the night away, but my suggestion is still that, uh, you know, before we try to tackle that <laughs> temple of light and that gym sitting on top, we still have um, to investigate the library, even with the crustacean, just to see what else is there. And uh, should probably investigate the prison yet. Yeah, absolutely. The moment to figure out what was causing people to go crazy. The three of you got bit by a lycanthrope. rope. One of you has syphilis, so that leaves me with Haggis and Manfang to decide who goes insane. Okay, that's fair. Uh, end of watch for Leaf. Uh, you go over, give a stomp on the trap door, uh, signaling Haggis, and also signaling everybody else that you're tired and want to get some sleep. Manfang, you are roused into uh, your duty. You go upstairs. Give me a D8, please. Oh, Let me check. This is a D8. Yes, it is. Eight. The night passes uneventfully for you. Woo! Uh, as Leaf, Copius, Haggis, Felix, Phineas, Pierre get some sleep, Manfang triggers Haggis's trap, stomps on the trap door, is it Felix who's taken third watch? Uh, Copius. Oh, Copius. Uh, you are roused from your slumber uh, and you proceed up. Do you have dark vision? Okay. Uh, as you go out, you can tell where Haggis has laid his trap. Uh, you go out. Give me a D8 for me, please. The night passes uneventfully for you as well. As sun creeps over the jungle canopy, uh, it directs its rays directly onto the turtle statue uh, and just illuminates him gloriously, casting a long shadow across the plaza. In reality, it's ricocheting off the diamond, sending uh, illumination everywhere. 
Uh, you guys are inside. Uh, everybody roll a d20, except for Copius, who was on watch. Let's see if any of you kicked over the urine. Yeah. 15. 12. 12. Phineas, 8. 3. 12. 3. The urinal is okay, fine. Uh, so, who's getting me some eggs and bakey? Eggs and bakey, where? I don't care. I'm hungry. I've told you guys what you need to know here. Somebody feed me. Pierre is hungry. In Russia, we drink vodka and bread. I'm going to eat some of my hard tack or my rations for the day. Yeah, I'm going to give him some of Robert's hard tack. Yeah, that's fine. I think Robert's going to be generous. Yeah, he's real generous. He's very, he's a very generous individual. Uh, okay, gentlemen, it's all up to you. What do you want to do today? I want to hit the ar- Let's hit the armory and the library yeah. first. I think armory first because there's nothing in there. And then if we can suit up, Ted. Uh, uh, and don't forget, there's a tavern next to it. Ah, it's a little early for me. I'm still nursing this hangover. We're going to take the zonkies or leave them, leave them in here? Don't leave the zonkies with the two gnomes. Uh, you got a point. Maybe we should take the gnomes and leave the zonkies. <laughs> All right, let's take the don- I'm going to get the zonkies saddled back up. Uh, Phineas waves off. I'm going to, you know, just hang out here. Me friend. Works for me. Yeah. Do you guys want to leave your zonkeys with us? No. No. That does mean we'll be left leaving one of the party outside each time we go in. In case we find museum quality artifacts, we will need something to tote them on. Yeah, I'm hoping to put, you know, some booze on the back of a zonkey. Pierre points out that uh, the Tabaxi do frown upon any theft or mischievousness uh, in the ruins. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, we okay. agree totally. Yeah. So yeah, I don't see any Tabaxi here taking care of these rats, do you? And isn't that what cats do? Don't they kill rats? They do. Hmm. I'm, I, I'm, I'm merely passing along information. I, I'm mm-hmm. not making you know, okay. a, a well, judgment sure. call. And All right. That's good how, enough for how's me. Is that uh, chest going to make its way out of the jungle? That's oh, why uh, you guys are here to rescue me and my uh, personal belongings. Oh, yes. yes, 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 of course, of course. Oh. Personal we belongings. Mentioned we weren't doing it for free. Whatever, we'll deal with that later. We're on our way out to the library. Fair enough. Uh, you guys want to go to the library? You're going to have to cross the Great Plaza. Uh, the sun is going to be your in your eyes. Everybody give me perception check at disadvantage. <laughs> That's an 18, 7, 25, and 17, 17. Five. Dirty 20. So wait. Well, I had a natural 20 until I rolled that disadvantage. Now I have 11. 16. Uh, Manfang, Leaf, and Felix, uh, you hear a strange screech as you three are the first ones out the door, and your zonkeys do not appreciate the noise and are hesitant at crossing the plaza. Uh, Copius and Haggis want to know what the holdup is. I think maybe uh, there's something just screamed out here. Maybe we should stick to the wall as we cross this thing. Let's yeah. not go across the middle. Did we? Did I recognize the sound of it? Does it sound like... Man thing? Does it sound like one of your relatives? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I was getting at. <laughs> Hey, 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 dude, you're going to break my headphones. Uh, As you leave this building, do you want to go to the right or to the left? No, we'll go to the left. I don't want to go over by the statue that likes to spin and hit shit. Uh, As you reach the Blue Lagoon here, everybody give me a general observation. So perception check at normal. 18. Nine. Nine. The nines don't hear shit. Everybody else uh, doesn't. Yep, you're good. Doesn't hear anything. Uh, but Manfang, 
Haggis and Leaf notice unusual ripples in the mossy covered waters right here as if something is floating around. Uh, uh, we might want to stay away from the water, boys. You three also notice uh, that this building, oh, this is the water. Uh, this building here appears to be a restaurant with a beautiful overlook of the two uh, tangy lagoons now. Hmm. Hmm. How about that? Maybe you find eggs and bakey in there. Yeah, maybe we would. Uh, <laughs> as you move around, uh, this building is what? an old inn. It suffered significant damage, wear and tear on it. <clears throat> the next small building is uh, a mercantile. Let's uh, take a peek inside the mercantile. Uh, the mercantile is used to be this big. It is now shattered into uh, a lot of rubble and destruction. It looks like uh, a lot of things have been picked over. Uh, some general equipment, such as camping gear, uh, culinary needs, things of that nature, uh, are still present, although in small amounts. It looks as though someone has pillaged it, possibly a shorter person. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, Gotta live enough. on something, man. Uh, next up okay. is the armory. I want to check out the armory then. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like it suffered some uh, structural damage. Uh, there's some viney growths. Uh, some of them look pale. Some of them look reddish. Uh, as you open up the corner, it opens up into a rather large pie shape here. A uh, good size building, uh, and you can tell uh, scattered weapons and armor are mismatched on the floor, thrown around, uh, and they used to be on stands, like tea stands, and those are all damaged as well. Uh, you do see a man size turtle shell uh, that looks like it's been fashioned into armor, uh, but only a front plate. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I call it first. Okay. Uh, give me a <laughs> D20. Let's do uh, quality. I needed to call that first just so I can get it. You're the only one that can use it, dude. Exactly. Ooh, this thing, yeah, I rolled a two. Doesn't quite fit. Does someone want to tell him he's got it on upside down? <laughs> yeah. Man bang. Him. It's upside down. Turn it off. <laughs> That's why I was so tight. I'm not just that fat. Man Fang, Grandpa's going to buy you some new damn dice. Okay. <laughs> uh, the good news is uh, there are some other items in there. Some unusual items, uh, weirdly crafted, like a mace with a curved head on it with a stone, a round stone inset, a la Aztec and Inca design. Uh, and a lot of the equipment it just appears foreign. There's a man catcher in there. Uh, there's a cat of nine tails, several of those, as a matter of fact. There are several crossbows, uh, some quarrels and bolts, although they look like they're in shoddy condition because the holes in the roof have allowed water to seep in. Uh, so if Felix needs to shoot around corners, uh, <laughs> they are curved. Uh, they will roll at disadvantage and minus two. Nah, I'm gonna pick up the that only reason why I would grab out. them is if they have silver tips on them. <laughs> uh, D12 the against me. Oh, let's do this. Still Six, on about the 11. Uh, I will give you. I will give you 10 silver tips. Uh, they are curved and I must say. If you do manage to hit something, froze on me. I mean, come on. That's, oh, I'm. I will take them. Yeah. So I'm I'll pick up that carries. mace and pick up the mace and check it out. Okay. I'll give you one gold if you ever hit something with one of those. One gold. Watch out because yeah. it's going to be you that I hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there you go. Uh, there are some shields, some standard shields in there if you guys want them. Uh, some leather armor, but it does not look like it's going to fit correctly. Uh, you great. have some bracers. 
uh, there, and you have some skillets, pot helmets. Unless there's something that's particularly unusual, as in it clearly would be able to be, let's say, museum worthy piece because it speaks to the tortle culture that once existed <laughs> here. Um, uh, Copius is not particularly interested in any of the rest of the, the goods. Uh, D12 against me. Eleven. Two. You find an engraved helmet uh, with copper striping. Uh, it looks more like a conquistador helmet. Very classy, very old, uh, and most likely museum quality. All right. Dang, he would have worn that too, but it's not size for gnome. It's too large, but it's. That, I could it's probably take a bath in it. Yeah, it's definitely unusual. Could I put you it on my head? Boil, you could boil eggs in it, dude. Yeah. Could I put it on my head? If Copius gives it to you, you might be able to. Hey, it fits on my head. Can I have it? Can I, I just want to try it for a museum. For, it's the quality. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I have the test, just you finish. don't want to have to carry that the whole time. Let him wear yeah. it on the way back. Yeah, yeah. So the, the mace, is that stone anything special that's in that mace? I, I don't want it to, to get ruined when that dragon spits acid on you. Yeah, it won't spit as much acid. I'll just I'll 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 take it off when we're fighting. Yeah, I'll take it off. The stone is onyx. It is very smooth to the touch. Think of a eight ball, only larger. That's onyx. But it's very okay. unusual. I'll hang on to it. I really want to give one just thick scratch to the very side of it, but I don't. Now know. keep in mind, you have never wielded a mace like this. So there may be a penalty if you use it in combat. You see because when you hold it, it's got the curve, the bowed end, and the stone. Uh -huh. So the weight is not like a normal mace for you. So it's not going to swing like a normal mace. Correct. And that's okay. before we talk about the curse. All right. Well, the curse makes him think he hit, so, you know... <laughs> That's going to be fine. That's better than shooting somebody in the ass with a bow. That's true. Uh, is Man Fang wearing the helmet? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. So Copia still has the helmet. Uh, you guys have wandered through. Felix has the magic cornering arrows. Uh, <laughs> you, you can throw them like uh, the guy from Umbrella Academy, if you've seen it, uh, as he throws stars around the corner. Uh that seems to be pretty much here. You do find an empty strong box. Clearly, this guy was a merchant. Clearly, this was his money, coin, gemstone box. And clearly, it's empty. Is it have, it's still in good repair, though? No. It looks like it got bashed open with something. Like a club by a gnome? <laughs> Possibly. It looks like there. It looks like there's a round indentation in it too. Like if a gnome was stupid and hit it with the side of a really cool mace. I think there may be two homicides, gnomicides, before we leave the city. You're gonna die. I'm pretty sure he is. He's gonna die trying to kill Phineas. All right, if there's nothing else, I still want to go to the library and see if there's anything in the library still. Uh, sure. I'll sure go to the library right with door. you. Oh, no, the library's not next door. The tavern's next door. To the tavern. To the tavern? Uh, the tavern and library. Uh, well, it, the tavern's right next door, and then the library's just beyond that. So as you enter the plaza again, you look around... Uh, it's almost like the statue of the turtle has a halo uh, from the sun blistering on it. <coughs> Excuse me. From this angle, you can plainly see, plainly, clear as day, uh, the large oblong uh, spherical 
a gem encrusted item that is just filthy value. Just, oh. just sitting there, just right there. It's just so close you can almost touch it. Uh, but as you go into the tavern, you notice uh, a few things. Uh, a, it looks like recent passing has occurred as there is scuffling on the floor in the dust. And B, all of the casks here are empty. Hmm. I will take investigation checks from all of you to see if you find anything of noteworthiness. Well, 18. Six, 16. Investigations, minus three. So that is a... Sad, sad thing. That's what that is. 16. Mm, very nice. Haggis, uh, or I'm sorry, Leaf. You got this other 16, right? Yes. Uh, Leaf, Manfang, you each find a very dusty, uh, what appears to be wine bottle. Uh, you do not recognize the writing unless you speak portal on it, uh, but it is in pristine condition. Uh, and it's a standard wine bottle. It might be worth something, maybe a couple coins. Right. Could be no. urine wine. Not sure. Hey, it, doesn't, it doesn't have the bull bitters envelope yeah. on it. <laughs> I didn't know he had distribution this far out. <laughs> it's probably better if it's not his. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick it up. All right. Haggis, uh, you, however, uh, underneath the rubble, find a secret cachet uh, in the bar, and that reveals an iron box. I take the iron box. Wait, okay. can I lift up the iron box? Yep, it's about yay big by yay big, and it jingles with coins. Uh, this will alert everybody's attention uh, as the sound is clear as a bell to everyone. Can I open the box? Uh, it's got a simple latch on it. Would you like to open it? I'm opening it. Okay. Uh, who's next to Haggis? I am. Manfang, Haggis, Constitution saving throw, please, is a blue gas fills or expels from the box and fills the area. Something like that sound. <laughs> I, I fell into my cup. So that. So, can we add 19. Constitution to every roll? Constitution uh, modifier to your roll. Okay. Then. 22. Uh, both of you <gasps> hold your breath and duck out of the cloud and manage to stagger backwards. Haggis, you drop the box filled with coins. Coins and gemstones go everywhere. Uh, the blue mist comes up and dissipates. Let me help you pick those up. Oh, yeah, well, thank you. Hand there. I, um, poker chip just yeah, I'm uh, gonna yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come and give you a hand. <laughs> Everybody roll a d20. The high, high one gets first grab. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, crap. 15. 15. Plus what? Or just roll? Just Straight roll. Up. 16. Haggis? Uh, 15. 11. 11. I got 11. Copious? 9. <laughs> Wow. 16. Man, Man Fang leaps onto the pile. Give me a percentage roll, please, Man Fang. So just rolled by 20? Uh, nope. Two tens. All right. It's not by 10. Just give me a few seconds. Leaf and Felix, you will be on deck with 15s. Is this by 10? No, that's a D8. It should look like... Nope, that's it. That's a 10 die 10. It's 10, 20, 30, 40. That's one of these little pretty ones. Is it? No, wait. No, that's an 8. Nope, Pick up nope. the one you just had, Frankie. That's, yeah, a, that's a die 10, buddy. So, so roll the first one. Okay, the first one. Roll. Zero. Okay, and the second one? Seven. Uh, so you get 7%. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Leaf and Felix. 81. 72. Uh, okay, that's going to require... Uh, okay, so 
we'll drop it to 93. Uh, you know what? Computers have calculators. <laughs> 93 divided by two is 46 and a half. Uh, I will give uh, 52 to Felix and I will give 40 to Leaf. Uh, it is uh, total coinage uh, and a few minor gemstones. Total, total coinage. Yep. Uh, each, each coin has a turtle shell on it. Uh, if you flip it over to the back, it looks strangely like that statue out front with the bird poop on it. It's their leader. Uh, that is all for the tavern as everything else has been pillaged over. Clearly, whoever shortened individual pillaged this place uh, did not find these three items. <laughs> so Sorry about your luck, crap stain. <laughs> Hey, thanks for finding that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Uh, it's just your uh, misfortune that Felix and Elise... <laughs> that, turtle coins. It's not legal tender and crab witch or whatever the hell we are. Good luck what, what's, a, what's, ah. the, what's the number of coins? I'll just split what I've got with crab stain and copious. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's do 36 coins. Okay. Uh, and then uh, four uh, a gold four gold piece gemstone, maybe a moonstone. I'm assuming they're worth more as a historic piece over on the other island. They are than they are for the base metal. Quite possibly. I'll yeah, I'm get, hanging uh, on to all the coins. Unless you're a I tomb received. looter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and split mine with the other, those other two. A lock. <laughs> And how many coins did you say I received? Forty six. Forty six. Mm -hmm. uh, take uh, forty two and a four gold piece jasper gem. Forty two. Uh, they're they're a little bit old, but uh, they'll they'll spend in the right place or uh, look great under glass. Or they'll uh, be great for gambling. That's true. Uh, next up is the library, correct? You'd be like the kid that put the, the, the flying eagle, whatever it was, coin in a damn gumball machine. That's right. That's only worth $20,000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is an excellent place to stop because I know what is in the library. And okay. A while. Uh, so uh, you have successfully made it through the jungle. You have successfully begun your investi <coughs> investigation of the ruins. Uh, you found a little coin. Found a little gemstone, found a little love, found a little uh, like, uh, and you found another damn gnome. So Woo! all in all, eh, you guys are moving forward. And you, you you found out why that stupid diamond encrusted thing has been sitting here all those years, because uh, it's a flying yeah. lizard. Uh, Felix, are we on the right track? Yeah, we're on the right track. I I can't believe I'm the only sane person left in the party that hasn't been werewolf weratized not for lack of trying oh there, yeah uh, rodeo oh, yeah. clown i am glad that i stayed werewolf bite free were rat free today 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 only uh haggis oh, yes. uh is this working for you i hope so <laughs> that's the spirit uh man fang cup dweller <laughs> yeah that's right that's right uh, what's your AC, Man Fang? My AC, it's 16. Uh, it's going to be 18 now, uh, where <laughs> the uh, tortle shell. Uh, Copious V bitters, are we doing the right thing? I'm, I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm, I'm really disappointed in the turn of events this evening because I was counting on a syphilitic gambler being bitten by a were rat, and that did not happen. <laughs> He, he did get to bounce his head like an NBA star across the cobblestone. That was, that was, that was good. That was good. But I was really counting on that bite. And, and I think we can all thank uh, Phineas Latrac yeah. for uh, oh, yeah. helping Felix out of his saddle. Uh, Leaf the Druid, uh, how are we feeling about this? Oh, we're, we're just wonderful. And you brought one more gnome into the picture. That's just what we needed. Another uh, gnome. 
You can never have enough gnomes in a party. No, no. I like the fact that the gnome started off talking like he was Irish, and then his name turns out to be Pierre, and he's a Russian. Yeah, I, uh, I, I am not Matt Mercer. I do not do voice work, and it is clear. I, you know, he, he went from he, he went from Braveheart to Boris Mananoff, <laughs> just like that. Oh, um, that was fun. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll work on it. But you know what? You're always going to get either a Russian or an Irish dude. No. <laughs> yeah, and, and for you, Copious, there's plenty of were rats to go around yet. Oh yeah, yeah I've already be been sure. bit. No, I think, well, you guys can all stack up on top of each other. Nicholas. I got a funny feeling if I happen to uh, assume my uh, <coughs> panther shape, I might get shot with an arrow. Well, it might be a curved arrow. It might just curve around the corner and shoot man fang. Who knows who it's going to shoot? I, I am so <laughs> dead for the first time you whip one of those out and and successfully hit something because oh. that is going to be the story right there. I oh. hit he was around the corner. That's how good I am. It's not whether or not he successfully hits something. It's whether or not he successfully hits something that's not in his party. That, that's uh, no, no. A hit is a hit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what if he hit Phineas Latrack? Ah, that's a hit. You know, it's a crime arrow. What if it comes back and shoots your own damn zombie? Uh, well, oh, that'd, that'd be nice. Well, oh, no, what? Buttercup. I was just saying that to put ideas in his head. Folks, uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Margoo campaign. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our RPG stuff, go ahead. Uh, Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to seat the one shots, a couple of open seats this week, uh, as well as the talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, let us know. Thanks for our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, and of course, oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com it has a whole lot of stinky stuff. Uh, Senior, I think you have this, right? Yes, you I do. It. There you go. Uh, folks, uh, it's been a pleasure. Hope you had a good time. I know these guys did, especially with all the 20s and the 1s rolling. Uh, let's wave goodbye and call it a night, folks. Goodbye! Bye! Bye.